seen a tremendous number of retirements announced in just the past few weeks. It's the highest number of retirements in a single month for over a decade. You said too many Republican leaders are lying to America. Who do you have in mind when you said that? I have a, uh, everybody who thinks that the election was stolen or, or talks about the election being stolen is lying to America. Um, that's everyone um, that, that is that is making that argument. Everyone who makes the argument that January 6th was uh, you know an unguided tour of the Capitol is lying to America. Everyone who says that the prisoners who are being uh, prosecuted right now for their involvement in January 6th, uh, that, that they are somehow political prisoners or that they didn't commit crimes, those folks are lying to America. As a Republican Party, if we're going to offer good, solid policy answers to the, the, the real challenges we face in America, we've got to get past the lies and we've got to have credibility with the American public. And, and I think we can do that, but uh, we have to move forward. But you know that the Speaker of the House tried to reverse the 2020 election results by signing on to that Texas amicus brief. By CBS standards, that makes him an election denier, but you support him. I do support him. I, I signed on to that brief also, and I believe that going through the courts to challenge an election is absolutely proper, and it's been done dozens of times in, in uh, American history. What's wrong is to try to stop a, a, a legal function, a, a legislative function, like counting the votes um, in an election, uh, as, as happened on January 6th. Uh, Mike was not the leader of the party at the time that uh, so many Republicans voted against uh, the, the, the certification of electors. Does he need to be more um, clear, and, and though? While I disagree now? with some of his... I, I, I hope he is. I hope he becomes more clear. I hope all of the, my Republican colleagues become more clear and recognize the fact that Joe Biden is an existential threat to this country. We need to defeat him, and we do that with someone who's not lying to the country.